Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Lucky and the Life Worth Living, which sounds kind of de like antidepressant. <laughs> it's part of my Steam cleaning series. I'll regain my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and review the wheel of playtime. I don't quite know what the game is, but the game is at random. But I'm willing to bet this is a puzzle game where you are um, putting together pieces. I don't know what the green leaves mean. Uh, I've played a fair number of the Lucky series games, and for the most part, they're completely innocuous. And what I mean by that is um, there's not a lot of beat on the bones where it's just this is a game where you are uh, sorting through a puzzle pieces, finding where they go, listening to their chill uh, to their chill vibes. And, and that's it. Um, my, my standing, uh, statement on all this is that this style of game is very limited in the sense that you don't have a lot of incentive I don't know what I'm giving. You don't have a lot of incentive to, to do this in this format because Lucky's like there-ish. Because it doesn't, like there's nothing that this offers that wasn't possibly solved by just doing a puzzle. Now that's a little unfair, I know. Um. There we go. And what I mean by that is, um, for me to really get on board with one of these games, it requires a little bit more meat to them. As in, why am I doing it this way? Doing it digitally on the computer versus just doing a puzzle. And like I said, that's a little unfair. I mean, some people don't have the table space or don't have the ability to make a messy, messy puzzle. And I wanna respect that. However, I also have to make opinions based on my choices because that's the whole point of this. And what that implies is that I'm looking at this going, why do I want to play this game? And right now it's kind of limited because we aren't doing too much more than just sorting. And that's how puzzles work really. When you, when you get the most negative to puzzles, all you're doing is sorting data, you know, get yourself a little bubble sort and go to town, get you a sale of a bubble sort. And I don't want to be disparaging to what that means, but I do want to be honest and say, if you're looking for anything clever or unique or um, more engaging, this probably ain't, this probably ain't that. <laughs> All right, well, now we got the edges mostly done. Now we have to go and clear out the rest of this mess. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be so mean and say mess. This is, this is perfectly cromulent. If there's the dog head is like somewhere in there. There's more dog face. There's more girl face. Or maybe it's guy. Oh, that snapped. Oh, you're like here-ish, I want to say. Oh, that's more, more Lucky's ear is like here. Well, oh, that's your tongue. Is it like there? I don't know. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, like, they got that chill beat going. And that's, that ain't, that ain't nothing too shabby. It's just not gonna sustain me for very long. Oh, there's a tail. That feels like it should be around there. Where does your eye go? Your eye belongs like, maybe it's that eye. There we go. Got the right eye and the right person, you know? No, really? Okay. All right, we're looking for more. Elements like that color. Like, this is definitely wagging tail. There we go. Well, that's dog face. How is that not? I mean, if you ask me, that looks perfect. I don't know. Let's find more black nose. All right. There must be another. That looks perfect. I'm, clearly, it's not snapping again. It's kind of disappointing that it's not. There we go. There we go. All right, we got pro dog scoring there. Uh, make a note. If you're looking for your dog. That's where it's at. Uh, I want a middle piece there or a transitional piece there. There's more fence. Yeah, get those fence pieces placed. That looks like dog. Yeah, that's dog. Dog. Where's more fence? There's more fence. What? Oh, it's there. One more. There we go. Oh, we're still missing some edge pieces. I just haven't nailed those down yet. There we go. Like, the sweater feels like it's... There we go. Oh, this dog is so friendly. Look at this cutie. A little bit more hair. I still feel like she must have a closed eye or I'm just completely blind to what an eyeball looks like in these days, which is possible. Look at this anime boy's hair in place. Where? Here? Um, is a little disappointing that they don't always snap right. I was I was hoping this game would be uh, consistent on that, and it doesn't look like it is, which is kind of kind of kind of a uh, not what you want. You want this thing to work as expected, more or less. Where's his other hair piece? Still missing other hair, but that's that transitional one there. All right, this is curtains. We have a bunch of pieces that, oh, well, thanks. That's an eyebrow, there we go. Uh, we have a bunch of pieces that belong here. That auto snap is so, sometimes just so silly. All right, let's get some of these more filled in. Um, I 
Oh, a double, eh? Kind of limits where that could go. Um, well, that can really only go like there. Yeah, I'm not a super fan of the game giving it up like that. I mean, I don't know what you really do in that situation, but it doesn't feel earned a lot of the time. Uh, there. There. Um, that doesn't look quite right. There we go. I mean, we'll just do one puzzle. I, I don't... I don't see a major advantage of, like, chunking through a bunch of these. Uh, it is what it is when it comes to the experience it provides. It is... You are putting together these puzzles. Come hell or high water. You're gonna do the puzzling. Uh, There-ish. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, there? No. What? Where does... Why? Oh. There. Uh, there. Get that scarf covered. Almost done. I'm really, oh that, yeah, her face is eyes closed. All right. Well, that's on me. Dog did jump in their bed while they're trying to get a moment's rest. All right. Now animate a little bit. Oh, they're so happy. Every day, the chance to become the most beautiful day of your life. Mark Twain. Also known as Samuel Clemens. Um, this is Lucky and Life Worth Living. It's a collection of puzzles, six of them to be exact, where you put together little scenes, they animate a little bit. It's fine. It just doesn't do anything over a normal puzzle. Like it just, I can't look at this and go, wow, that was better than just building a puzzle. I like putting together puzzles. They're, they're kind of fun, but this doesn't do it for me. Cheers.